everybody welcome to example of play this is Corey in 33 today I'm very excited to bring you a video of a game that is a, a new release so I've been playing a bunch of uh, older games and now I've got my hands on a game that's coming out today and so that's pretty cool it is from Slytherin they make all kinds of strategy tactics war games that I've been playing for a long time um, and they've been expanding their kind of the production quality of what they make, the scope of different kinds of games that they make. And so they are bringing us this Stargate Timekeepers, uh, which is a stealth tactics game set in the Stargate, Stargate universe. So if you've played um, Shadow Tactics, Blades of the Shogun, uh, that came out a few years ago. I would consider that to be like a masterpiece of this genre. That's a game I played all the way through. Um, that was set in like a feudal Japan kind of setting. And then there's also Commandos back in the day, which was World War II setting. Um, and then Desperados, which is like a Wild West kind of setting, I think. I haven't played that one, but it looks pretty good. So there's not a lot of games like this, but I think there's not hardly any Stargate games. So uh, kind of a unique genre and setting. So pretty cool to see those two matched up. I loved Stargate when I was a kid. I saw the movie. I watched the show. Uh, but it's been a long time since I've watched it, so I kind of lost some of my memory on the, the lore and the characters, um, but I do remember the setting in general, so it's pretty cool to revisit that. Um, this game is presented kind of like a TV show, so each level is an episode, uh, and there's on release, there's going to be seven episodes available now, and then seven more in um, April, so a couple months from now, so if you're getting the game, there's only seven levels right now, but yeah, there's seven more coming later and presumably more after that. So Slytherin's real good about supporting their games for a long time. Uh, I know the like Battlestar Galactica game got tons of additional content. And it wasn't just filler content. It was like new features, new mechanics, and really pushed the story forward. So it'll be interesting to see how the story goes in this game, um, it, how they change it up as it goes. Um, and so I've so far, I've beat the first two levels, um, which, having beaten Shadow Tactics a few years ago, I remember a lot of the mechanics. It, a lot of this game obviously borrows quite a bit from that, uh, uses a lot of the same gameplay features. So um, for me, going through those first two levels felt uh, not too challenging, but just right to kind of get into it. Um, if you're fresh to the genre, it'll probably be a lot harder. Um, but if you're a Shadow Tactics veteran, uh, you'll you'll probably have fun, or you'll probably breeze through those first couple levels. So it'll be interesting to see how it gets uh, more complicated as it goes. Um, if you do want to try the game out for yourself, there is a demo available on Steam. And I think it's the first level, uh, which is kind of a tutorial, pretty linear, but it's still a nice way to try out the game before you buy it. So I'd highly recommend check that out. Uh, this video is not going to be a review video. This is going to be just like impressions. Uh, what I'm thinking of the game so far, and um, I'm going to jump into this level, I'm going to talk about my thoughts on the game, and just kind of show you how it works and everything, and then you can uh, hop off after you hear that part, or I'll, then I'll play out the rest of the level, which I have not seen this level yet, it's totally fresh to me, so I don't know how long it'll take or how complex it'll be, um, but this is the third level, the first one, Battle of Antarctica, which I vaguely remember being part of the show or something happened there um, and that's kind of like, yeah like I said like a tutorial level and then resistance which was set on an alien world a uh, very different climate and brought in another character and then now this one in plain sight let's see what it's about after the successful supply mission on Hactyl Stargate command continues supporting the planet's resistance movement against Moloch Years ago, Moloch decreed that all girls born under him must be put to death in the ceremony of fire. SGC agreed to help save the intended victims of this ritual on one of Moloch's worlds. Following the disturbance on Hactyl, the Resistance needed a last-minute plan to save the infants. Majors Max Bolton and Sam Watson wait outside the site, ready to infiltrate and delay the proceedings. All right, so we are here to stop some people from getting sacrificed, some infants. Uh definitely want to stop that uh, so it's gonna be it's nighttime a village we're gonna stop this ritual and uh, there's a treetop network over the village so that should be interesting 
maneuvering up there. We're going to have two characters, Max and Sam. Uh, Max was in the first level, and he every, so each character has their own set of abilities. There's a couple in common, but generally they're, each character is unique. Uh, so Max is like our sniper. He can hit guys to knock them out, which pretty much every character has that. He can, he's got a sniper rifle, uh, it's got limited ammo, but it can kill anyone from any distance as long as he can see them. He's got a blinding dart uh, that can blind people, non-lethal. He didn't have that in the first mission, so it'll be interesting to try that out. Uh, this coal disruptor, so the, the coal warriors are the kind of toughest enemies I've run into so far. You can't knock them out or kill them with basic attacks. Uh, as far as I know, the only only best way to take them down is to hit them with two characters use this coal disruptor move at the same time to knock them out or to, to yeah knock them out and kill them. And then uh, he can camouflage himself, so as long as he's not moving, he's invisible, and then he can whistle to draw enemies towards him, which is pretty handy. Then Sam is a new character. He has got uh, he can hit people. He's got a Vakunder projector, uh, projects a hologram. Okay, so he can throw that out. It makes like a hologram to distract people. The Zat gun, he, so first shot stuns, second shot kills, third shot disintegrates. All right, so that could be handy for sure. The medic disguise, he can scan a target take on their image okay so he's got he's like our hologram guy he can distract people with a hologram projector or he can uh like disguise himself as someone you've knocked out and then chit chat so all right so he can go talk to, he can disguise himself and then go talk to people uh to distract them which is uh yeah if you've played some of those older games in this genre there's usually a character that can do something like that and he's got one other thing here that don't know what that is can't see what it is yet but he does not have the coal disruptor so that option might not be available to us all right so we'll go ahead and jump into the mission okay so it's saying there the events in this start at the end of season seven of stargate sg1 so if you remember your uh seasons okay here we go we brought all the supplies we arranged what is wrong, Atta? The Jaffa of Malak are on Haktiru. The ceremony of fire will begin soon. We must save our sisters or they will burn. We're short on time. You're here because of your experience in infiltration. Saverda is the high priestess. She will lead the ceremony. I could disguise myself as a priestess and perform the opening of the ceremony. Prolong it as a distraction. I like it. Damn, they didn't skimp on manpower. There are guards everywhere. They're not taking any chances. Can you sneak past them? Sure, if I look like someone with authority, I can stroll right in there with the right disguise. Right. For now, I'll stay back and cover you. I'll find a spot with a clear view of the village. There should be another gateway on the other side of the ritual area. Go through there and head on to Cease Verda. Do we know for sure that she's in her treehouse? Apparently, the High Priestess is always there before the ceremony. I hope she keeps to her routines. We can't sneak out the kids if we don't find her first. Right, and we're short on time. Let's go. Alright, so, kind of got our work cut out for us there. So, yeah, I was saying the, the first mission was a tutorial. It was very linear. Uh, it basically... You kind of didn't have much option. You just had to push down a path and eliminate the enemies as you went or sneak past them. And then the second mission opens up a bit. It, all to, it has several different paths you can choose from as you go through the mission. Uh, though still kind of kind of linear within those paths of, of like here's these enemies, this this group, this group, this group, and you have to work your way past them. Uh, but you did have some options. And then now this one though, it's given us some objectives but definitely feels a little more open, a little less obvious of what 
the best path is going to be. And there are a lot. Yeah, definitely we're going to need our infiltrator. Uh, Sam is going to be the only person who can get through all these people. And then but though we do have a plan so to stop the ritual, which it looks like we don't have a timer. So that's good because a timer on this would be rough. So it looks like uh, we need to stop the ritual by getting Sam to the High Priestess and then disguising himself as her so that he can prolong the ritual and, I guess, get the, uh, the kids out somehow. But first, we need to get him an armored Jaffa uh, so he's a little more authoritative than just a basic enemy. And then he can get through these gates and into the village. Looks like oh, there's a stargate right there. And then get him up into these tree houses and our target is right there, the High Priestess. So, now if you've played Shadow Tactics, played to the Shogun, a lot of this is gonna look very familiar. I think Desperados is the same company, so probably pretty similar too. You can click on enemies to see their view cone. It's gonna move around. The, the part where it's got the lines, uh, if you're crouched, they don't see you at that distance, but if you're standing up, they do. And then in the solid part, they see you all the time. And then they have kind of a little cone right around them, or a half circle right around them too. Enemies can also hear you, so certain actions make noise. And uh, they'll come investigate if they hear it. And then we have all of our actions abilities down here Need we can anything? switch between I'm our two here. characters presumably later missions we might have three or four who knows uh, as the missions get more complex um, like i was saying the the first couple missions did feel kind of easy uh, but i say that as someone who beat shadow tactics with the shogun which is pretty tough um, and i had to brute force my way through some of the missions on that because i couldn't figure out an elegant solution so it could just be that I had that experience already, and if you're a fresh player to the genre, you'll probably find it more challenging. Uh, but like, And also, those are only the first two out of 14 missions, so there's plenty of time for them to get more challenging as they go. Now, these games definitely encourage save scumming. You've got quick save, quick load right there on the screen, and then also you get this warning. I think you can turn it off if you want to, but you get this warning telling you like, hey, you haven't saved for three minutes. Do you think you might want to save? Uh, because one wrong move in these games can get your team killed and ruin the, ruin your whole mission. So uh, definitely a game where probably unless you're some kind of pro, you're going to be you're going to be uh, save scumming a lot. You can also pause the game so we can pause it. We can line up some orders. It'll show you like what the character is going to do. But uh, you can, and you can do execute for them to just go do those orders, or you can do synchronize where they'll take whatever action you've assigned at the same time. So that can be useful if you want to like hit two targets at the same time. And then you can also do your moves in real time without pausing. Sure thing. Uh, down here we have the different actions. So like Max has a sniper rifle. He's got seven shots, so it's really powerful, but it's limited how many times you can use it. Other abilities just have a cooldown uh, in between uses. Ready for action. And then Sam has the same thing. He's got the projector he can throw, uh, and he has to go pick it up, or the Zat gun that has 10 shots. And that was the one that, yeah, one shot to stun, two shots to kill, three to disintegrate, so you can take someone out at range. Good idea. Um, okay, yeah, so this is like a little tutorial thing just showing us how the Zat gun works. So if he can see them, he can blast them with that, and then he can finish them off, and then he can disintegrate, so can get rid of a body at range without going out there to it, so that could be useful. These that have limited resources, uh, usually during the mission you might find some reloads for that. Uh, one of the characters in the second mission, she could steal supplies off of enemies to uh, reload hers. So our first move, um, 
oh yeah, and the one thing I wanted to mention was uh, with the graphics, they look pretty good. Uh, game runs really smooth. It's not gonna blow you away or anything, but they everything looks nice, very clean. The UI is very functional, does everything it needs to do. The one thing that I'm kind of like mixed feelings on is the volumetric fog, uh, which makes everything kind of hazy in most of the levels. Uh, and and that is how it looks like in the official screenshot, so that's how it's supposed to look. In this one, it looks alright. In the last one, it made the, the scene look a little washed out, so I did find that you can turn that off. I was going to show you just what it looks like. And it changes the look of the game quite a bit, so it makes the colors um, have a lot more contrast and pop a lot more. But also does make it look a little simpler at the same time. So it could just be pre preference on that, but I just wanted to throw that out there because if you think the game looks a little, the color looks a little off um, by default, that is kind of the big setting I found that changes the way the game looks. But I'm going to turn it on since that's how the game was designed to look. And it's like, it, it looks a little more cinematic this way, but it looks a little more colorful the other way. So it's sort of just whatever your preference is. So having said all that, let's try to get to it and see if we can infiltrate this village. And I talked a big game on how uh, the game felt kind of easy for me in the, the first two levels. So we'll see if I embarrass myself now. So you can click on the enemies, see their view cone. This guy's patrolling. This guy's looking around. We can hit this to uh, highlight the bushes that we can sneak into. This guy's focused. This guy's looking but not moving. So we've got... Yeah, this guy, we can't get him because he's looking there. Though he is in a little gap from that direction. But kind of an easy first move. All right. I'm going to have him hide in this bush. And then we'll save, since it's reminding me to save. Oscar Mike. And I'm gonna have Max do his camo thing. So this is a pretty easy trick to take take out lone enemies. He can whistle to a uh, draw him in, so we'll wait till this guy comes back around. There's also a button to speed up the game if you want to uh wait if you're waiting. So we'll whistle, get his attention. He doesn't come all the way around though. All ears. So we'll try this guy out. Nope. Nope. Well, that didn't work. So I do like you can move while you've got an ability selected, which is useful. Already on it. Hey, let's go. Here we go. Ready for action. We'll try comboing up here. See what happens if we throw this. Oh, oh well that didn't work. He stood up in the bush, so he was spotted. Alright, so our first skate save scum of the evening. All ears. We'll try something different. Piece of cake. Let's see what happens if we just throw this thing out right here. Will he see it from that far away? That's easy. Okay, so he doesn't see it. But will this guy see it? Okay, yeah, so he does see it. Hey. 
All ears. Shoot. Now you're talking. Now we'll whistle, draw him in. Ah, he's still where that guy can see him. No problem. All right, got him. And then when you knock enemies out, they're asleep for a few seconds. But you have to kind of secure their body to uh, keep them from getting loose or from waking back up. And then other enemies can find that body and wake them up. So you can throw them in a bush to hide them is the best way to get rid of them. Or if there's a cliff, you can throw them off a cliff. All right, so now we got rid of that patrolling guard. This guy would be easy to take out, but this one is right there. So we might take out... He can't see that guard. So it might be easier to take out this guy first. Now we could just shoot him. Oscar Mike. But uh, we only have seven shots. We want to kind of conserve those because we might not get any more shots. We can also use this blinding dart. That might be useful. Sure thing. Probably a little too aggressive to try to use it on this guy over here. All right, yeah. So I'm thinking. Here we go. His vision is Let's limited. Go. We can probably sneak in right there. There's nobody up here. What always gets you is there's always one enemy just down the road that you're not noticing that can see you. Alright, so he's just out of sight of those guys, or that, that guy down now there. So we can knock him out. And then, yeah, so... He's asleep till this ring closes, then he'll get back up, so we want to secure the body before then. And then enemies won't see these bodies at, at a distance, but if they get closer, they will see them. Um, but if we try to carry him over there, he might see us, so we'll just leave the body there for the moment. Now, to get rid of this guy, he's in his sight. Yep. So we need to think of a way to get at the split them up or get them both looking in the same direction. And then I'll save. Probably want to save like every time you take out a guard. No problem. Here we go. And then just to demonstrate, if you run, sure thing. you get a little sound around your guy. Though I have found that the enemies in this game are almost deaf because uh, when you're running, you don't make that Oscar much Mike. sign. You can you can run right by people. This is on normal difficulty. I don't know. If, I know higher difficulty makes uh, them a little bit faster to spot you and move. Now you're talking. I don't know if it makes them hear you better though. Need anything? And then I need make sure he goes and picks that up so we don't forget it. Cake. Shoot. All right, so I'm gonna try the old camo sure trip thing. again. Oh, oh, that was dumb. I didn't check the range on the whistle before doing that. Yep. Let's go. God, this ceremony is sickening. That's pure evil. The Moloch is pragmatic. Got an idea? Anyone who can't fight his wars is expendable. That includes anyone female in his book. He can't leave like this forever. Oh, he won't. We'll make sure of that. Here we go. Okay, so I want to be just a little further out. Here we go. Alright, so I'm going to try to lure whistle just loud enough for this guy to hear me and not that guy. Uh, but that's just kind of how these games work, of using the mechanics to pick apart the puzzle. Now he's coming over. We're camouflaged. He can't see us. Sure 
Try again. No, oh, didn't quite get to him fast enough. All right, try again. Try again, it's right. No, this time they both came. Sure thing. I go with alternate strategy. Blind one dude. Oscar Mike. Smack him. Tie this guy up. Tie that guy up. All right. Let's go. That worked. Sometimes you just gotta do something on the fly and hope for the best. That worked that time. No problem. We could get rid of these bodies. I don't know if any random patrols so far in the first two missions, nothing happened where like a new patrol entered the area later. So we'll just. Now you're talking. Well, I say that. Not nope, gonna hide the bushes. Hide them in the bushes. Just Oscar in case. Mike. And he can help too. Just to be safe. Hey. Everybody All goes here. in the bush. Alright, so we've cleared this first little area. And then that guy's there, but he's behind those logs. No one's going to find him. Yep. And then just to be safe, we'll go ahead and secure... This is Max's perch up here he was talking about. So he could, from here he could snipe all over the village. And he's not going to be able to sneak through here. So we might as well just go secure this area first. I've got this. And then that button will highlight the enemies sure also. So there's just these two guys. And you can see them on the map here. There's just these two guys. So these guys look like they'll be a little easier. They're not moving. No problem. They're just kind of hanging out, so we can just walk, sneak up, and smack them. They're having a little conversation. Let's go. And I feel like those guys would, uh, feel like he would hear that, but, you know. Now you're talking. Now I could throw them off this hill here, but I won't do that. We go. We're not, we're not the monsters. We only do that if we have to. All right, so, yep, so from here, he can snipe. He's got seven shots. He could snipe pretty much anybody out there. If he can see them, he can kill them. So that'll be a useful spot for him. And create kind of an interesting dynamic of one character sneaking through the village, the other character picking off a guard here and there. Need anything? Already on it. But now most of the focus for this mission is going to be on Sam. So our first order of business is going to be getting past this gate, which to do that we'll need to get a uh, an armored Jaffa surprise or disguise. So that's one of these guys. And then the, the and then if if you remember the show, it's very Egyptian themed. So the guys with the big uh, Egyptian helmet thing now the trick is knocking out one of those guys is a little tougher with regular attacks but our zat gun is an energy attack which can knock out those armored guys but we'll need to get one of them alone to do it good idea all right we'll go up here and get a little tip from this thing Okay, so the ring teleporter things, I remember that from the show too. That can bring in more reinforcements, so we don't want to let anybody activate one of those. Hi. All right, 
so our disguise depends on our rank so we want to get the uh, so if they're green they won't notice if they're red they can see through our disguise is there equal or higher rank so we need to get a higher ranked guards disguise but there's no way we're gonna be able to get that guys because there's multiple people looking right at him so we'll need a different approach we need to go up here already on it that's easy We got this guy looking around, this guy's focused, a few other people working. This is the guard, we need to get his disguise. And he's not moving, so that's helpful. Our main concern is this guy who's moving around and patrolling. I'm here. I'm here. I've got this. All right, so some of these are just civilians who are working. They don't have any weapons, but they can run and alert the guards, so we don't let them see us either. What's the plan? Hey, we've got civilians here. Spectators, more like flunkies. All right. Okay, let's not spook them. They might not be armed, but they can alert someone who is. But here, all the civilians are pretty focused on what they're working on. Need anything? All right. All right, so we're in position behind this guy. Now, like I said, if we use the regular strike on him, it won't work. He'll resist it because he's armored, but the energy attack of the Zat gun will work. The only thing is getting, uh, moving his body out of there before someone spots it, which would be this guy looking that way or this guy patrolling around so this might be a thing where we want to just disintegrate his body because we can't necessarily pick it up so I'm gonna zap him any other ideas nope. no they saw that so this guy, but he's got some bushes behind him, so we'll need to go take him out first. Easy enough. Piece of cake. I've got this. And that's kind of the fun of these games is looking at this little puzzle and picking apart how are we gonna Good idea. solve this. And there might be more than one solution. Usually that's usually it. there's a cheesy way to do it if you get lucky or time things just right already on it <clears throat> all right and then usually there's an elegant way to do it too but okay so we got rid of that guy good idea now we might use the hologram to draw out this other guy piece of cake Since this guy's not, if this guy was looking around, this would be a little tougher. But since he's pretty focused, we can just use this to pull him away. And then Already on it. bop him in the head. That's easy. And then we'll get rid of his body too. In the bush you go. 
I've got this. And then go pick up our projector. Alright, so now we can come back up here and zap this guy since all these workers are distracted and there's no guards patrolling. Already on it. We can zap him easy enough. Good idea. Still need to secure him. And then now we can steal his disguise. So now we are disguised as a higher ranking Jaffa. Let's see. Oh, there's some sniper ammo there. So I wonder if, yeah, at some point we might need to have Max come over here and do some sniping from this perch too. And then, oh, okay, seeing this, these were some mechanics from the previous mission. I'm wondering if we're going to run into one of the other characters. That's easy. Oops. Where are you at? I've got this. Shoot. Oscar Mike. Okay. All right. So, yeah, yeah. Got a little distracted there, sorry. Um, so this looks like this might be another sniper perch for later in the mission or something. But for now, there's no reason to go up there. Already on it. We're going to come back down this way. But we're just going to walk. We're not being suspicious. We totally blend in. We are a Jaffa officer. Now this guy, though, he's red because he's equal rank. He could still spot us, but he's talking to this guy, so he's focused. Good idea. And now we have the chit-chat option, but we don't really need that right now, I don't think. We just need to stroll CCK. through this gate. Already on it. All right, we're into the second area now. Here is a higher-ranking enemy, uh, so we probably want to get his disguise, but not let him see us. So you can use the chit chat to make him look a certain direction, but not on this guy because he's going to recognize us. Then we got a guard here, we got some civilians who are focused. This guy's patrolling. And yeah, I'm wondering if we can just pick this guy off as he goes past this bush, maybe. That's easy. All right. No, I gave him pause, but so these high ranking enemies aren't as distracted uh, by Good things idea. like that. Or they won't walk over to it, they'll just look at it from a distance. Need anything? <laughs> That's easy. And maybe in this case, a simple approach is going to work. If no one walks by and sees us. Piece of cake. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Now we are a higher rank. We'll save right there. 
I've got this. Now we really are an officer. There's some other officers here that could spot us, so we don't want to get too close to them. But we now outrank most of the people. We get over there, that looks like maybe that's whatever this is. And our ultimate goal was to get up there. To get up there, we need to get through. Was there another gate somewhere? So yeah, this mission definitely more complex space than the uh, the last couple where it was pretty linear. Just trying to pick out a path where we want to be and how to get there. So you can see here, it's so like I say, yeah, the character in the last mission, uh, there was one she could hang a rope from these things to, to go down. So I'm guessing we're going to run into her before this mission's over. Which will be cool to get the, the first two missions. You only had two characters, so having three will make it a little more interesting. But if we're just trying to get through... Okay, so here's the gate. I was lined up with it right there. I wasn't seeing it. So that, that's the gate we need to get through to go over here. Uh, to get out on these walkways. And then that way we can get back around to her room. So We just need to pick a path through here. To get to that gate is our next problem. Need anything? Already hey, on it. Max, don't you wish they'd assign Colonel McCain to this mission? I really don't care. Ah, I see. I guess you guys aren't getting back together then. I got my crosshair right near you, pal. Whoa, touchy. I'm here. Now, these guys will notice me if I'm standing up and not if I'm at Piece a distance. Cake. Or not if I'm crouching at a distance. Everyone else is too intimidated right. to question why I'm doing that. Don't worry about it. And there's a whole other area over here, but we don't need to go there yet. I've got this. This guy looks like he's not moving really. But getting past him might be kind of tricky. Uh, we might be able to use the uh, hologram thing to do that. And that could be interesting. I guess you could have him snipe. If yeah, Max can snipe this, alright, yes. Create a distraction. That could be useful. But I'm That's also it. thinking... I'm thinking, uh, will people notice if I toss this Good idea. over there? Oop, yes, they will. <laughs> okay. Well, it's worth testing just to see what would they notice. Hi. Already on it. Yeah, just thinking about some options. Could I go all the way around over here just to slip? Try to like run right through there real quick. That might work. It's a long way around though. But I could. There's no one over here. I don't think there's anyone over here who all would right. be able to spot me. I don't know if I explained when enemies do that yellow thing. 
uh, if the yellow gets to you, then it turns red and they become alerted. Before that, they're just uh, wondering what's going on. I've got this. All right, so easy enough to have him just walk around over to there. Already on it. And this might be cheesing it or uh, doing something gamey instead of elegant. But if I can see, his view cone is right there. Good idea. I might be able to just run from here to over to there while he's looking the other way. We'll try it and see. That's easy. And hide in the bush. He's like, what, what was that? No, nothing. Don't worry about it. And then do the same on the other side. All right. All right. So we snuck by him so sneakily. Huh? And then there's something in there, but we can't open that. That's not the same thing. That's, uh,. Oh yeah, I think that's the grenades from that other character I was mentioned, so she's definitely gonna show up here shortly, I imagine. Alright, so now got this. we're past those guards and we're to the gate. Not gonna happen. Alright, yep, that's her. So that's hey, Character from the uh, second game, or from the second level. I did not know he was Tauri. Will he wake up, or is she gonna have to take over the rest of the mission now? Alright, so now Ata has joined us. What? Like I said, she was in the second mission. abilities she's got a uh, melee attack she's got sort of like a little spinning like a melee spin uh, area of effect attack that has energy so it can knock out the tougher enemies too she has a decoy which acts kind of like the hologram and lures enemies to it uh, but it, I guess the difference is his he can choose when to activate it where hers is active as soon as she throws it out she can steal supplies from enemies, she can sneak up on them, or just knock them out. And then she can steal supplies to get her other abilities, and then she can get these grenades. Um, that That's what's in this box. These grenades that uh, can blind the enemies. And then she has this climbing rope, which I was mentioning. So like when she, we get to this, she can put that rope on it to let other characters climb up and down that spot. And let me see, where was it? There's like vines, if there's like natural like, like vines like this, she can climb those, other characters can't. So like, she could climb up here and then put a rope so other characters could go up and down it, which I'm guessing 
uh, Max is probably going to have to come that way later. Alright, so now we have two characters making their way through here. One, What's oh, plan? and he's still got his disguise, so that's good. So that's he's easy. still disguised. He can distract enemies. And then I got Max on the sniper rifle. If I need, he can just wipe people out with that. Indeed. All right, so we got a bunch of civilians down here. They're mostly focused. That guy Watch is out. looking around. And he's an officer. He doesn't have that icon above his head, but I'm thinking that might be a graphics glitch that it's not showing right now. I'm here. Okay, yep. Yeah, so there it came back. So, or maybe it only shows when he's. Oh yeah, it only shows when he's selected, so won't be able to easily sneak past that guy. He might be one that we just need to snipe or otherwise eliminate. And he can see really far, so like some of these like civilian people, uh, regular guards, don't see nearly as far as like the officer guy sees really far. Already on it. Onward. But. Not too many people moving around here, just this guy looking different directions. Right, so they're armored, can't just hit them with a physical attack. We will need to zap him. But that shouldn't be too hard, no one else is really moving around or looking. We just need to get close to him. This guard's not moving. These guys can't quite see him. He's just out of their line of sight. So I think I can just stroll up and zap him with my zap gun. We'll wait for him to turn around. All ears. Get as close as we can. Good idea. Piece of cake. Yeah, don't you worry about that. Nope, they're gonna spot me. All right, that's not gonna work. So I might need to do something slightly different. That's easy. That seemed like it would be a little too easy. And I can't just snipe this guy because... But I wonder... Could I snipe this guy? No, nope, he's just out of sight. Can't quite see him. That's disappointing. Unable. What if we move over just a little? Nope. Okay, so can't just snipe him. We'll have to get a little more creative. Can't just walk up to him. Now if I could go around, that might be the ticket. Go around and talk to this guard to distract him and then she can't just knock him out with a regular attack, but if she could find a uh, charge for this, she could use that. Ready for action. Already on it. <laughs> One wrong click. Alright, wait for you to turn around. I've got this. Alright, so now good idea. Alright, he can't see what this guy's What's doing right here, so... All right. And then that guard can't see him at all. That's easy. Alright, so now we're chit-chatting with this guy. And he's laser-focused in that direction. 
And now she might be able to find a way to uh, sneak up. Yes. These guys are all focused. Wait for him to look away. Do we have a plan? Yeah. Understood. Stay back. Hmm. Oh, he's got just a little bit sticking out right there. Got me. Okay. We made it through there that time. All right, so stealing. He has one of the supplies we could use. They do. Hmm, so this idea might not work actually. What shall I do? Because if I hit him with just the regular attack, it's not going to work. That guy doesn't have anything. That's disappointing. All ears. It's got to be his Zat gun, but Piece of cake. his Zat gun's the only way we can knock this guy down. Good but idea. also, we got to distract this guy. So we'll see if. You could drop that right there. This. And then activate it from over here. That might work. Already on it. Alright, so this will require a little timing. I'm gonna activate that thing, which hopefully will make those guys turn and look at it, and then run up and zap this guy and get rid of him. So I guess really I'm doing all this. I don't necessarily have to do that at all, do I? She could just sneak down right there. Let me see and knock out this guy. Do we have a plan? Yes. Do we have a plan? I'm working on it. Cause this guy never turns around anyway. That's easy. All that convoluted thinking of how to get rid of this guy when really we can just avoid him, it looks like. I heard you talking, Sam Watson. You speak the Gwaul tongue very well. I'm okay with small talk. Shall. But keep me away from big talk. Right, so she could just climb. I didn't notice that thing right there, so you could, she could just climb right on that. Nani. Good enough. And then he... What's the plan? Can just climb All down right. here. No need to even knock out anybody over here other than, you know, that one guy. I've got this. Alright, so pick that up and then we're ready to press on to the next area where fortunately no higher ranking people. Piece of cake. We just need to make our way through here. Now how to get her through here, we will have to get rid of some Good of these idea. guys. But at least we're not having to... We, okay, so yeah, so there's another place she can climb up here. Looks like... I wonder if she can go across on that rope. That would be cool if she could. But if she can climb up there... It's probably where she's supposed to go. I just need to get her to there. So all these people aren't paying too much attention. It's just this one guard wandering around. 
So I just need to get him back here. How can I help? Need anything? What shall I do? Indeed. Ready for action. I've got this. It's easy enough to get rid of him. Already on it. Piece of cake. Do we have a plan? Understood. Ready right. for action. So that's easy enough. Now there's this guy who is looking straight ahead. But that's easy. This guy could be distracted. Ready. But she can just tiptoe up from the side. Onward. <coughs> Bop him in the head. These guys aren't. Let's see. Well, this guy's looking around a little bit, but these guys are not. Do we have a plan? This guy's armored though, so I can't just knock him out with a single hit. Uh, let's get this body out of the way. So alternatively, we can say actually let's talk about let's talk over here. Yes. I shall. And Max is getting bored over there. Oh, oops. And now I might have fallen victim to not saving. Oh man. Okay. I'm here. That timer was right there the whole time telling me I should save, and I didn't. But we know how to do this real quick now. Understood. Hi. Piece of cake. Chalhol. Indeed. I hope at least one person out there watching was walk, watching that uh, save timer tick up and up and up and up and wondering if I was ever going to save. Already on it. Good idea. No way. Shall not. That's easy. Yes. Need anything? Okay, so once we knew exactly what to do. Easy enough to get up to I've here. This. And now we'll go over here, chat with I heard you talking, Sam this guy. You speak the Gwaul tongue very well. I'm okay with small talk. I shall. But keep me away from big talk. Onward. Indeed. Alright, so last time I missed that this guy is looking just right there, so a fine idea. We'll just go distract him also. That's easy. Understood. And 
Doesn't look like anyone up here is moving around. If we can get over there, we could get her some of those grenades. Might be useful. Oh, I forgot. I could. Oh, yeah, I could pickpocket from that guy while we're here. Yes. So she can. Oops. Well, a little misclick there. Well, save puts us right where I wanted to be anyway. I shall. So she can reach into his pocket and take a charge for her staff. So now she can do that area of effect energy attack that can knock out the uh, armored guys, and more than one at a time if you get them get up close. A fine idea. Okay, now she's up there. And then if I can get to there and get some of those blinding grenades, which could be useful. You get they're great. You can throw them and blind a whole group of enemies and then sneak past them. And you'll need to pass through there to keep going anyway. But for now, looks like we're in the clear for that area. Over here, we. Don't see any red markers till we get all the way over there. Do we even need to go all the way over there? Okay, yep, yeah, so we need to get to that side, so we gotta figure out a way to get to this platform. We've got a couple options. We need to get to that platform and then coming in the back door. And we will have completed the first big part of the mission. Let's see. We're right here. Good idea. We can restock. Hopefully it's not <laughs> before I could even get it out. I said hopefully it's not suspicious for him to just go Already open up this it. case, but apparently it is. All right. So if he were to say throw this thing over here somewhere. Good idea. Already on it. Okay. That's easy. Don't worry, guys. I wasn't opening that crate and taking the stuff out of it, which they only gave us one charge back. So, yeah, this game is uh, generous with kind of the starting resources a lot on a lot of these abilities, but either you are limited on how many you get throughout the mission. I feel like it kind of encourages you to use your abilities a lot more uh, than like Shadow Tactics, which like on that, the sniper, there was a sniper character in that, and it was really powerful because you could pick people off from a distance the same way, but getting wow. ammo for him was really hard. Some missions, it was like half the level was just getting him one bullet and getting right. him in position where he could use it. All right, so now we need to get to, there's no way we can approach from this direction, so we need to approach from this one. Seems like, I say it seems like, so I don't know. We should be able to just walk right across here, game. right? There's one guard there. There's one officer there idea. who can see really, really far. But now he's looking the other way. That's easy. That guy's focused. And then there's one here. So he's pretty much covering this bridge. There's not I don't think we could just walk up there and knock him out. So we probably need to go this way, but Already there's on it. nobody over there. Good idea. Hey. All right. Just a little duck, and all of a sudden he doesn't mind that we're 
suspicious looking person walking across that bridge. Alright, so that wasn't too hard. Covered a lot of ground there. Now we just need to get up these stairs. That's easy. I wonder what this there's like a little door here we could open. Oh yeah, and I guess I'm forgetting. It's easy to get him over there. That's what I'm forgetting. Like, this is a little too easy, but it's because I need to get her over there, too. Because she needs to be there to uh, lower that rope down to get us out of there. Hmm. Okay. So, backing up. I'm like, this is too easy. We're going to get all the way there. But the problem okay. is, we need her there, too. So first, let me get her all get her off of that little island there. I've got this. Piece yep, that seemed way too easy, and that's because I was forgetting my other character. All right. That's easy. We need to get her off this little island. I'm not going to do that. Which with him to distract people. Understood. Shouldn't be too hard. We could also could have had Max uh, snipe that thing to be a distraction. But we're just going to cruise through here, knocking everybody out, the tying them up. Good idea. I'm here. These guys are both laser focused. Hi. Already on it. She can just slip in on the side right here. Onward. And then we'll save. And then we're going to do a little synchronized move. Ready for action. Yeah, it's gonna punch him right in the face. I shall. So we do synchronize, they both act at I've the same this. time. Oh, uh oh. Well, that didn't work out. Didn't realize those guys over there could see all the way over here. Now, I wish she could just jump on that rope and shimmy across. That would really save me a lot of trouble. But looks like that is it's not an option. But while we're here, she out? will grab some supplies out of this. Onward. And we'll need to get rid of that body. Understood. Yes. Okay. Ready for action. And then those two guys, we Piece can just leave them to it. They're not going to pay attention to anything. I wonder how did those guys see... Oh, I wonder if it was just her moving around? Hmm. Well, anyway. Now we've got her out of this first little spot. Now we're to get her across the big, long bridge. Ready for action. That's under observation. I've got yeah, this. the trouble here is these enemies are isolated, but the sight lines are wide open. And this might be where Max comes in to make life a little easier for us. If he's capable of... No, that guy's standing right there. 
You can make a really great sniper target right there. But we'll worry about him in a second. Need to figure out how to knock out these two guys. While these guys are patrolling around over here. He's looking off into space. They're covering right here. What's the plan? But he's not looking that far over. And he's mostly focused in this direction. So actually we might be able to just not worry about them at all. Good idea. Already on it. Finding just a little gaps is all you need. Get an opening. Not going to happen. Oop. Wait, I just realized. As I hit him, that was an armored guy. So. That's easy. Good thing I saved that time. We're going to have to use one of our shots. Ow. Hm. Alright, back, back it up one more time. Piece of cake. Still have this guy right here to take out first. Alright. Okay. Now we save. Save after taking out every guard successfully. And we'll just zap him since we got plenty of shots. I've got this. Okay. Now, having done that. Now comes the time to figure out how to get past this guy who the problem is he can spot us and he's being watched by that guy Max is able to snipe either one but if he snipes one the other one's gonna see it So this could be a case where I need a nice distraction. Already on it. Good idea. All right. Yeah, it could just be just toss this thing out there. Oop. Except for that guy standing behind me saying, uh, what you doing? Piece of cake. And that guy might have just signed his own death warrant. All ears. That's easy. And I'm a little cautious about burning through my Zat gun charges, but I've got this. I do have a bunch, so piece of cake. And he's going up over the edge since uh already on it. Since he dared to spot me and embarrass me once again. Alright, so I'm thinking toss. Good idea. Or wait till no one's looking. That's easy. All right.
right, so the plan is, as he walks away, activate that, distraction, Max takes the shot. Oh, but he's too armored. Sni okay, well, I thought a sniper shot would kill him anyway, but no, he's too heavily armored for the sniper shot to kill him. So we might have to go alternate. Good idea. Sniper shot, take out the other guy. Cake. Need something? All ears. Uh, uh, Already on it. And he kind of spotted me, but we'll take it. That's easy. I've got this. And this guy's already dead, so we don't have to feel bad about throwing his body over there. Nope. <laughs> Define gravity for a second. All right. So those bodies gone. Now should be able to bring her up. A fine idea. Cleared out a nice space for her to move up through. Well, we'll save. We're getting closer. I feel like I want to avoid. There's a lot of guys over there, but only one that's really looking around. I don't know if I need to even bother with trying to take him out. Or if we just need to. find a way past this group of guys. What's the plan? Any other ideas? What shall I do? Now here we got this guy looking right at that guy, that guy looking back at him, and then this other one going back and forth. Could make it a little difficult. Might be a situation to have her just trying to distract them and have her just run by rather than trying to take out these guys. Because if she can get on this bridge, there's no one patrolling over here, really. That one, but he can't see very far. Yep, so I think I will have her just sneak up. Understood. I could use the blinding grenade, but it would be... Probably better to just use his distraction device. And I probably could knock them all out, but good idea. And then she just runs. I ooh, no. Dang. It's good work though. Piece of cake. Might just need to place it a little differently. All in the time. Oh, well. Share not creep. I've got I wonder this. if you get a stat at the end that tells you how many times you reloaded your save. Okay. Good Maybe idea. I will just take out these guys. They're gonna be hard headed about it. Indeed. 
All right, yes. you brought it on yourselves. You could have been just a little less diligent in your duties. All right, save game. Now we're on to the last platform before we get to there. This guy is kind of looking at nothing, but he is covering those stairs a little bit. These guys are laser focused. Really, our only concern is this one who's walking back and forth. All right. So, if I just walk over here and distract him, then here she comes. Understood. Hey, tell not cream. Took a step too far. What shall I do? A fine idea. Just be a little sneakier. And away you go. And there are achievements for uh, getting through these missions without uh, being seen, without raising the alarm, without killing anybody. So even if you uh, beat the game, even if you beat the level, you could do better by uh, beating it without killing anybody, without being seen. That's easy. But we're going to use all the tools at our disposal for now. Piece of cake. Indeed. Okay, so there's all these dudes here, but we're not worried about them because we are sneaking in through the side door. Very sneaky. Smacked at the head, always works. What? Why? Shintel. Then. Kreetel shall mock. Keep quiet. Where is your daughter? What? I have no daughter. Every girl born under Lord Moloch is offered to him in the pious. Yet I am here. Am I not? Who are you? You are young. You cannot be from here. I am Ata, your daughter. Oh, interesting. Tell Cor. Nonsense. It is impossible. I was there. I saw it. Ata, we don't have time for this. How could you do it? How could you even think of killing your own child? I am not a blasphemer. The law applies to everyone. You! You! I'm sorry, but we've got a mission. Well, that complicated oh, things a little. This is Watson. Costume change complete. What took so long in there? I'll tell you later. Have you still got us covered? I haven't got a clear sight of the outer gateway. I'll need to get in a better position. Do you know where, exactly? Yeah, I've got an idea. All right. So, I guess it's time I got on with the show. Make sure you drag out that opening. Long enough that we can let in the resistance and save the kids. Ata. Sam starts the ceremony. Can you open the gateway to let your people in? Yes, I can do that. Good. Once you're done sneaking out the kids, Sam and I will move out. I understand.
All right. All right. So this video has gone on long enough. I'm going to stop there at the kind of midpoint of this mission and give some final thoughts. Um, yeah, so playing this mission really kind of, I was already enjoying the game, but, but this mission's really upped my rating of it quite a bit because this mission is less linear. We still have kind of specific things we're trying to work through and do, uh, but like through this area, you know, there was multiple ways we could have done this. I'm sure uh, there's a way to get through it without knocking out so many guards, without having to kill anyone. Um, and as you saw, you know, there's plenty of spots where I kind of struggled to figure out the best way. So I feel like there are multiple spots here where there were other ways to do it than what I did. And like I said, the first mission, the demo level, um, it gives you an idea of how the game handles, but it's very linear. So don't let just that mission uh, decide the game for you, because as soon as you get into the second mission, it gives you some options which path you want to take. Um, though it's it still felt kind of linear, it was kind of like pick which of these paths you're going to do. Uh, but now this mission really opened it up like this is like a huge level that's got multiple parts to it um, that kind of has this little opening spot to teach you, give you a chance to use your new character and do the disguise thing to infiltrate through. And then you get over here. And now we have two characters that we got to move through here. We got the sniper providing overlook. Um, we got these totally different, these tree platforms that make for a very different environment that's more wide open, but with enemies and little clusters. Then we got some interesting story stuff. Like I didn't see that coming, that she was going to be her daughter uh, that she thought was sacrificed a long time ago, but actually wasn't. And then now we head back in over here we're going to change up the sniper's position. Uh, we got the resistance. We're coming to save all these children. Pretty good stakes. Pretty uh, interesting spot. And it's going to be, yeah, how am I going to get her through this village over to here to open the gate to let the resistance in uh, while he's distracting and the sniper's covering. So, yeah, there's still this whole section of the mission to do. So I'm going to stop here. I feel like that's a nice uh, break point. And yeah, so my final thought on the game is this is really good. Like if you enjoyed Shadow Tactics or Desperados or Commandos back in the day, uh, this is going to give you that same feeling. Let's hear it. If you like Stargate, there's not too many Stargate games out there. This is going to give you a new Stargate story, some characters to follow um, to kind of get into that lore about all these different people with really hard to pronounce names with apostrophes in the middle uh, but yeah it's a cool game uh, it's only $30 very reasonable price uh, for what you're getting like I said there's seven missions on release there's seven more missions coming in a couple months and I'm guessing there's probably since they're doing sort of the episodic seasonal format I would definitely bet there are at least another couple seasons coming over the next year or two um, That'll bring more characters. I think I think uh, there's like six total, total characters you get eventually. I've seen four so far, and they're all very different. Um, they do kind of fall into the archetypes you've probably seen before in these kind of games uh, for the most part. Though you do get... You, it does feel like you're encouraged a little more to use uh, like your special weapons and stuff because you get lots of charges for them. And then... Um, yeah, kind of interesting ways to, to throw them all together to solve these little puzzles as you go. And then it looks pretty nice while you're playing. It handles really well. The controls work. I like it's a little... The way the left and right click works is a little different than what you might expect at first, but it works out nice because you can move while you have an ability active right. by right clicking and then left click to actually throw it. Um, so that's nice. So, anyway all thoughts together say yeah this is a game i would recommend if you like stargate obviously you don't have a lot of options so this is a pretty good one uh, but if you like stealth tactics games this is a, a solid entry it does feel and play and look a lot like the other games but that's not a bad thing and if this if the if the progression from the first to the second to the third level is any indication this game has got some really 
big complex levels to work your way through and uh, pick apart the puzzle and find find your way through it. So uh, thanks for watching. If you watched all the way in to all the way to the end, thanks. This is the longest video I've done, but um, yeah, I was having fun playing this game and I kind of couldn't stop. And then also I struggled a bit, so I had to reload a few times. But like I said, this is a game that rebinds you to quick save, so it's definitely expecting you to fail and uh, mess up quite a few times as you go through it. So thanks for watching. I'll probably do another, at least one more video of this, um, kind of finishing off this level maybe. Um, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.